The Econometrics of Financial Markets by Campbell Law McKinley, published in 97, is truly a classic book in financial econometrics. More than 25 years after its publication, it remains a very useful source of information. I read this book as a graduate student in economics and it guided me through my PhD period. In contrast to many books covering econometrics, this book is actually a pleasure to read. Even without a strong mathematical background, most students should be able to understand the ideas presented. Let's have a look inside. The book starts with a bit of background focused on mathematics, mostly linear algebra and optimization, statistics and finance theory. However, the book is not really self-contained. The sections recommend a few classic books on various subjects, including the time series book by Hamilton, published in 94, which is quite challenging, to say the least. On finance theory, the book suggests Ingersoll, published in 87, which is another iconic book. My playlist of classic books and papers will certainly feature Hamilton and Ingersoll in future episodes. Then in section 1.5, we move to market efficiency, which is an essential concept shaping our understanding of finance. I did a video on technical trading rules and stock market predictability, which might be fun to watch if you want to explore trading strategies. Chapter 2 explores the predictability of asset returns. Well, everyone wants to know whether you can get rich by reading this book. I have done a few videos on random walks and simulations if you want to know a bit more about this subject. Market microstructure is next, which is a classic area of study and has grown substantially since the 1980s. In my early years, I published a few papers on the so-called bid-ask spread and liquidity. There's still a lot to learn about these dynamics as they matter when working with high-frequency data. In particular, if you have access to tick data, so observing every single trade, these effects become very important. Next we move into event studies. As requested by a subscriber, I will do a few videos on event studies in this playlist. This is a great chapter, focusing on the underlying theory, deriving the main statistics and discussing testing procedures. However, this book is not very applied. So it does not really teach you how to implement these techniques in Starter, Python or any other programming language or software. If you are totally new to data analysis, I suggest my latest Udemy course on getting started with Starter. The link is in the description and my channel pages. I will definitely show you how to conduct event studies in Starter and Excel. Yes, Excel is a fine option in this particular case. Then the book moves into the capital asset pricing model, which is the cornerstone of portfolio theory. Empirically, however, multi-factor models perform better, which are covered in chapter 6. The next two chapters explore the relationship between fundamental values and prices. This is interesting and still underdeveloped in my view. The main issue is that measuring the fundamental value of companies is not straightforward. Dividends, so the payouts to shareholders, are not a great measure for various reasons. There is a lot to discuss on these issues. I certainly plan to create a proper online course dedicated to firm valuation. In fact, firm valuation was my main job during my time at McKinsey. 
The following chapter then dives into asset pricing, including fixed income securities. There are many good and I would argue better books on asset pricing and in particular fixed income securities. The main criticism is that this book tries to cover too many topics. The last chapter is on nonlinear behavior. This chapter touches on aspects of machine learning. Very interesting chapter, but certainly not up to date. There is a vast literature in physics and econophysics on these nonlinear patterns in financial time series. The book is still available on Amazon. You can also purchase the Kindle version for a lot less money. Maybe a nice gift for a loved one. I hope you enjoy this video. I see you next time.